Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for December 4th. Now, like I always say, these are general readings, so you know, if they resonate with you, that's great. And if they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. Love ya. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the box below. Um, I do have tarot card classes if you like to learn tarot. There are five videos plus a bonus video. They're $20 a piece, so give me a shout if you are interested. And if you'd like to gift a friend a reading, I do have gift certificates. And I have beautiful mystery healing boxes to send them out in. They make great gifts. And again, give me a shout if you're interested. So, let's see what's shaken for the 4th of December. Hmm. We have the star card, but in reverse. Now, in the upright, you know, this is a healing energy. It's a card to let someone know that, you know, the universe hears them and their guides are with them. You know, it could be a blessing in disguise. Still a good card in the reverse. It's just that something is delayed. The universe still hears somebody. Something might have to be done first in order to get a blessing or some sort or a wish granted. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. And this is the I'm Good Solo card. This person has all the material things that he or she needs. They're usually uh, entrepreneurs on the road to success. But this person is looking for the things that money can't buy. Love, respect, loyalty, happiness. And maybe somebody needs to be more independent and rely on themselves in order for something to be granted by the universe. Self-reliant is in my head. Hmm. We have the Leo card of strength. And this is about having the courage, having the guts to persevere through any situation. It's about inner strength and control of your emotions. And maybe somebody here needs the strength, maybe to be more independent, self-reliant. Maybe when this person relies on their, their self, yeah, they rely on themselves for their own happiness. Ten of Cups. They ride that unicorn card. Emotional fulfillment at its finest. Doesn't get any better than this. I definitely feel that somebody has to, you know, pull their energy back and focus on themselves. And that might take a lot of strength not to overextend themselves. Because it's their own happiness, you know, that the universe, I think, wants to help them on their way. If As long as they help themselves, they'll get help. And not to worry about it. You have the nine of swords in reverse. In the upright, this is agony, sleepless nights, overthinking, and thinking about something over and over again until it drives you nuts. In the reverse, this is letting it go. Not overthinking, not being pessimistic instead of optimistic. Oops, there's something flipped in the deck. Hmm, Ace of Wands. And again, this is the universe giving somebody an opportunity to see if they take it or not. An opportunity to take a new course of action. Could be a creative endeavor, but to move on something. And if the direction, you know, to act upon is to be more independent and self-reliant, that's what the universe might be waiting for somebody to do. For themselves. Then we have the seven of wands. This is in reverse. In the upright, this could be somebody who's defending themselves and feel like they're on higher ground. They can back up what they say. A defensive energy. But in the reverse, it's not fighting it anymore. And it's right under the nine of pentacles. You know, just stop making excuses and put your guard down. Be more independent. Be more self-reliant. Because then you'll get changes. Because now you have death. 
And the universe will send death in when something needs to change, when somebody wants something to change. This is right under the strength card. That being a Leo card, this is a Scorpio card. But death is a transformation, you know, of a person. Something dies off. Now, it doesn't have to be, you know, life itself. It could be an old way of doing things, an old way of thinking, an old way of feeling. That ends. And something new comes in. No more worrying. That ends. No more fighting change. That ends. Then a wish gets granted. Yeah. And then you have the four of wands. Known as a marriage card. But this is taking something to a higher level. A higher commitment. A deepening of a bond perhaps. Now you get this little shanty in the card here. And a castle in the background. You get to stop building a castle somewhere. And it's right under the Ten of Cups of Happiness. Somebody starts putting their energy into themselves, stabilizing themselves, you know, preparing to go after their own happiness. Things start changing. And a transformation happens. A good one. Oops. You know, don't overthink something, overstress something. Take a new course of action and... Basically, make something happen and do it for yourself. Ooh, can fly up. But they were face down. We want the ones that are face up. So I think somebody will find their strength within themselves. Could be a water-like person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or somebody who takes all these properties. She's very intuitive. She's in check with her emotions. She's got everything balanced out. She can speak fondly in matters of the heart. She can take somebody else's, you know, emotions into consideration as well as her own. Bottom of the deck. Look what I'm talking about here, folks. You have the two of wands. And that's like taking this opportunity, this new wand, the one that's in his hand. And the other hand has his world. New opportunities, avenues, things on the horizon. By taking that course of action, that new way of doing things, something dies off and the new stuff comes in. The new stuff that's positive and brings happiness to somebody. So, let's get it. We have a wish that is waiting to be fulfilled. It could be about somebody being very independent and self-reliant. Could be a business endeavor. Somebody's going to be successful in. They need to take that dive. And they need to have the strength to follow this through. By relying on themselves. And go after what truly makes them happy. And not to overthink it, overstress it. Because that's wasted energy. To take that opportunity... To take that course of action and not fight it, invite it. Because then things will start changing. Old ways of doing things die off. Stability comes when somebody makes a conscious effort and takes that action to stabilize themselves and bring their happy to them. Use their intuition and keep their emotions in control. And keep their eyes on the prize, so to speak. So, folks, let's break it down. The universe wants to grant somebody a wish if they take a certain course of action for themselves. To not fight being independent, but be independent. Have the strength, the courage, the guts to transform someone's life. And bring that stability and bring those unicorns to the yard. And put their happiness first. And not to worry about it and not to second guess themselves either. To trust their intuition and keep their emotions in control. Stay clear-minded. Because this person has 
beautiful things on the horizon. And by taking a course of action, they're going to see them clearly. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.